And now, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, Vietnam veteran who uh, who we, we reached out to during this past ele election. We had to remind people he was one of us. He was somebody who served honorably uh, in Vietnam during our time, Senator Tom Carper. Thanks, Dave. Uh, to you, to Joe, to Paul, to everybody who's gathered here, uh, veterans. How many of you are veterans? Anybody here in the Marine, any Marines here? <laughs> Happy birthday, two days late. Uh, got any, uh, got any uh, Air Force folks here? Uh, nice to be in, uh, in your house. Got anybody here from, uh, from the Army? The Navy guys are got to show up. All right. I always ask this question. I used to be serving on this Coast Guard uh, subcommittee in the House, but do we have any Coasties here? I'm here. All right, let's put our hands together for the Coasties, shall we? Well, they do a great job. And I don't know if we have any uh, Merch Marine uh, 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 veterans uh, who did great, great, great work. Incredible bravery under very, very difficult positions. Do we have anybody who's a Merch, uh, Merch Mariner? Let's just put our hands together for them, just for just for the sake of it. They did great work for us. They were heroes. Um, my mother had uh, two brothers and two sisters, and uh, one of her actually three brothers and one sister. And uh, my uh, my uh, youngest, uh, her youngest uh, brother, uh, was a uh, uh, served in uh, in World War II. He was on a uh, an aircraft carrier called the uh, USS Suwanee. And uh, in 1944, uh, during the uh, last year or so of the uh, the war in the Pacific, uh, his ship was uh, was uh, came under attack by uh, kamikazes, and he was on the deck of the ship, and along with uh, a number of other uh, sailors, uh, was uh, killed. Body never recovered, and his uh, uh, the word got back to my grandparents in uh, uh, Beaver, Beckley, West Virginia, Beaver, right outside of Beckley, that uh, their son had uh, was missing in action. And uh, hope, uh, hope against hope, uh, unfortunately, never recovered. So my grandmother's a gold star my mother. I don't know that she ever knew that. And our family's a gold star family. And I think we only learned that uh, recently. But I feel a special kinship with every one of you. With every one of you. And I always will. Always will. We just gone through a tough election. A nation badly divided. Thank God the elections are over. We went. Thank God. We went down to Returns Day the other day, last Thursday. We're in Delaware. We uh, buried the hatchet. Say the elections are over. Uh, we got plenty of problems and challenges that we face in this country. Let's get to work on those. And what we need is not just a return day for Delaware. We actually do pretty well here working together. We need a return day for our country. What do you think? We need a return day for our country. Close with uh, with these uh, with these words, words of Winston Churchill, and uh, well over here just quoted uh, George Washington. I'm going to quote uh, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill once said that uh, democracy is the worst form of government devised by wit of man, except for all the rest. Think about that. Democracy is the worst form of government devised by wit of man, except for all the rest. What he was saying is that this is a hard way to govern. We've been at it for 225 years. We still haven't gotten it right. As we try to help folks in Afghanistan, Iraq, and other places to, to be able to govern their countries in a democratic way, they're struggling too in Egypt and in Libya and a lot of other places that are new to democracy. And we're doing our dead level best to, to help them. But I just want to say to all the veterans that are here, and those whose lives that we celebrate, who served in the past, I just want to say a special thank you, not just for your service, but for giving us the opportunity as the oldest living democracy on the face of the earth in the history of the world, to be able to go to the polling place last Tuesday in this state, the first state, and 49 other states across this country to cast our votes for president all the way down here in Delaware to clerk of the peace and to be able to speak uh, our voices and say who's going to serve us and, and who is not. And on behalf of all of those who I represented who were elected, uh, re-elected last, uh, last Tuesday, thank you for giving us the chance to serve you. I promise you this will give you our dead level best. God bless you all. Thank you so much.